Dear students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. We are going to discuss about the fully funded scholarship opportunities in New Zealand for the session 2024 and 2025. Uh, these are the opportunities for bachelor's, master's and PhD students who wish to complete their career in the New Zealand. They can apply for these opportunities. There are multiple opportunities. Uh, we will discuss them in a detail before that. If you are new on our YouTube channel, please do subscribe and share this video with your friends. Also, follow us on Instagram page. Our username is Full Scholarships. Uh, the link for this New Zealand scholarship is given in the video description below. You can check out the video descriptions. Each video has its description and each video has its own link in the video description. You can click on that link or also you can check out the about section of the YouTube links are also given there or in the Instagram bio or you can scan the QR code. Or you can directly visit our website fullscholarships.net. Once you are on our website, you can check out the information for the New Zealand scholarship here. So you can see first on the list we have the Manaki New Zealand Government Scholarship. We have earlier premiered the video regarding this. And if you already applied, you don't need to worry, you just wait for the results. If you have not applied yet, you can watch the process, but you cannot apply right now because the application process is over for some countries, like for India, it's now. Uh, or so in order to start applying if you can check you can click here to apply simply click on this link so that if you can check that whether it is open in your country or not for some Asian countries they are closed so click on this link here once you click on that you can see application opening and closing dates for your country so you can see opens on 1st of Feb and closes on uh, the 29th of February so it's closed for our country so for your country this might be open so in order to start applying you can click on this apply online here and once you click on that apply online you can see new applicants everything is there so you can see for first uh, time users you have to like confirm your eligibility test here so click on this eligibility test link so upon clicking on that it will take us to another uh, destination page where you have to verify whether uh, you are qualifying this or not so you can see uh, suppose I'll just enter a dummy email so let me get the temporary email address so here I have got a temporary email uh, I'll just paste that here and then click on next so choose the country of birth so you can see different countries are there and so you can see some countries are not showing up this means that the application period for there uh, is already closed. Suppose uh, many of the students are from the Cambodia or Algeria. Suppose you are from the Algeria here and then you mention your date of birth. Uh, this should be as per the passport. So suppose I mention the date of birth, click on next. And are you a student of Algeria? So you can say yes. Are you a season or permit season of this so no i'm not i have been living for there so you can say yes this is an example because my country is not showing there so i'll be choosing algeria as an example many students from algeria are watching so they can fulfill according to this so are you a member of diplomatic corps so no outside of algeria so we have spent zero uh, have you completed work experience so yes if you have not you can select no but i have are you currently serving military or no i'm not and then uh, do you wish to receive uh, have you received new zealand this uh, scholarship earlier so i have not so i'll click on that i'll confirm this click on check my eligibility so you can see congratulations uh, you are eligible to apply for managi new zealand scholarship so you can click on register now you can see our email is there and enter your first name last name then uh, choose the gender then uh, house and PO box number then choose the country then choose the postcode and then uh, do you identify yourself as a disabled so if you are you can tick this box and uh, your primary type of phone so you can 
then do you have dependents if you have you can say yes and no i will say no and then click on register so with this our registration should be done and you can see check your email let's refresh the email and you can see we have received a link where you can see uh, our username is this and to get started we can log in onto this okay let me go back one step and we should reset the password via this link so let me go to this link so that we can reset the password and i have not received the password yet as per this email uh, you should receive you can check your email for instructions of setting your password okay so click on forget your password so you have to set up the password for the first time and your username is your email so i'll copy that paste that here click on continue and you can see we have sent an email with the link to reset your password so click on return to login and now you can see we have again received a link so that we can set up the password so let's uh, copy this link here and go to that link and you can see let's sign up so click on reset password and now we can reset the password for this so okay let's suggest the password and click on change password so you can see uh, we have successfully logged in and you can see applications close with uh, okay there are no scholarship applications open for so you can click on application opening and closing date for your country at the moment there is nothing open for this country but you can check out uh, the details about your country here so you can see right now there is nothing open but we have previously applied for the same scholarship so you can watch that video and let's move on to this another scholarship that is university of auckland international student scholarship so you can click on that and it will take you to this official university of auckland international student excellence scholarship and you can see uh, application status not currently open for applications uh, it will open and uh, there is uh, one intake which is going on up to 7th march and another intake uh, which is uh, 18th of april so till then you can apply and how do you apply scholarship application will usually open around six weeks before closing date so you can see uh, it's mentioning how do you apply for this and so before six weeks it will open till then you should have the admission on the uh, this university of auckland to any other courses and let's go to this home page here you can study find study options find a study option undergraduate study options postgraduate so i'll click on postgraduate or you can just click on uh, this and you can see application and admission you can see directly apply now so you can click on that and then you can start your application so click on this so till the scholarship application opens uh, you can apply for the admission so you should have at least an admission there and you can simply sign in or you can use the following so if you don't have account yet you can click on register and you can click on register google account so let me do that so you can see i have successfully logged in and for the first time users it will ask you a few questions have you previously studied at uh, this any level in new zealand so no I click then click on next and after that few questions will be asked so have you studied at tertiary level uh, in auckland so we have not studied this and then click on next and after that uh, which program are you applying for so you can select so suppose you want to go for bachelor's you can select that you want to go for master's you can select that i'll click on that okay then click on next and then you have to select the program 
then you can see programs that are open right now so you can see uh, bachelors and other details so i'll select uh, mba is open right now so but i will change to bachelor so let me see which program are up open in the bachelor so once you choose bachelors you can see you can select the programs here so you can see almost all the programs are there so i'll select this uh, bachelors of arts and then uh, you have to choose a program specialization so i'll choose economics bachelors of economics then majors uh, i'll choose uh, another major that is education and click on done and then select the term so i'll start in 2024 uh, summer term and i'll click on this semester 2 click ok then you can choose the preferred location uh, any city you want to do reference you can choose that and uh, do you wish to be considered for the entrance scheme so you can say yes and you can say application so you have to uh, have any of the options if you have but i'll select no here and then click on do you wish to have you been awarded scholarship for funding that will pay your university of Auckland tuition fee so you can say yes otherwise if you have any uh, scholarships here but i have not so i'll select no right now then click on next because i am later applying to scholarships that auckland university will open in the next month so you can see four step so you can add the transcript here so let me upload the school transcript file and you can see it's done click on save so this is higher secondary school certificate because i am applying for bachelor's if i would apply for master's i have to upload the high school as well as the uh, bachelor's degree certificate for bachelor's you need only high school so then what is the highest test of qualification uh, held by your parent so if your parent has bachelor's or master's you can submit that and what was your main activity or occupation in the new zealand so we have no status here so not employed non-employed or beneficiary so you can mention and we have no stats as of now there so i'll say non-employed or so what was your main activity or occupation in the new zealand as of october in the year before you intend to enrollment so nothing so we had no uh, stats there so i'll just choose that and then click on i agree and then click on submit application so you can see this is simple application for the auckland you can see your application completed successfully your application is now complete so what happens next you will receive an email acknowledging your application within 48 hours you can check the steps of your application and you can also uh, let me refresh the email here go back and we will also have an email right now it's not there so in few minutes you will also receive the email confirmation and you can see currently our application is done now uh, once you, your application is evaluated you will be receiving sub supporting details you will be asked for documents of uh, your transcripts and any degree certificates you have then uh, after that it will be processed and the application outcome will be there so we have no past applications you can add another course application if you wish and that's how you apply for the Auckland and once you are uh, accepted in this Auckland University, you can apply for the scholarships, which will be sent to your email with the link. So after that, we have the uh, Tongereva scholarship at Victoria University. To apply for that, you can click on this link here. And link is given here, so click on that. It will open to the official website of Wellington University, Tongereva. And here you can see a descriptions, eligibility, application process. So you can see apply online by May 1st. So click on this apply online link here. And you can apply for this don't get a scholarship so you can see every detail now click on apply here and you can uh, choose the student login here and we have already filled this application as well but for your purpose we are just showing you again the process so for the first time users if you are here for the first time uh, you can use the google sign in here so let me sign in with that so now you can see please verify your detail please enter your uh, email and verify so click on send verification code you already have an account okay so let's go back click on apply online because our we have already registered so you can see it's showing that you have already registered so we can just go back and log in 
So click here for the login and click on student login. So let me log in. Uh, there is a long time they are not sending the verification code to my email. So somehow you just log in and just follow the steps involved. So you have to basically enter your basic details, education details, your documents and that's it. Then you have to submit the application for the scholarship. For this also you need to have admission. So you can apply for the admission here. Basic, uh, you can go to home page and apply for this university. So for all the scholarships, you can apply for the admission first, then you can apply for scholarships. And it's recommended you just go for the admission first, then apply for the scholarship. Similarly, you have the next, the Otago Doctoral Scholarship. Here you can see University of Otago Doctoral Scholarship. And information for this scholarship is given here. So you can click on this link. And how to apply is given here. So you can see. And you have to apply through scholarship office once you got the admission. So you can see. While you are made offer, they will be sending you the link for the scholarship as well. So then you have the canter with New Zealand scholarship. You can click on this link and uh, it will open the official University of Canterbury and you can see financial support. And you can see different scholarships here. So international student welfare part, you can click on that and as well as you can apply for other scholarships here. And then you can see uh, hardship grant. Uh, Mikkel fund loan so you can see different funds are there and a lot of opportunities in the University of Canterbury as well I recommend you uh, watching the video carefully as well as we have already premiered the video here and You just check out the news land playlist each of the scholarship that we have listed here is published separately there and We have step by step showed every step there and you need not to worry if you have doubts you can just comment down below the video in the meantime, directly visit the website fullscholarships.net and apply for these scholarships. You can also check other scholarships here and you can see different scholarships are there. So you can apply for any of the opportunities. But before messaging us, do remember to subscribe and share this video. Keep watching. Have a nice day ahead.